come from Mexico, and this is essential to the cuisine. You really have to have chilies in your food, and that doesn't mean that you have to have hot and spicy things, but every, yeah, every dish in Mexico, is, it gets its flavor from these beautiful things, like this one, they call it pasilla, it means little raisin, because when it dries, it takes on some fruity overtones. And some of them are named just because of what they look like. This one's chili ancho, the wide chili. Cascabel, because it sounds like a rattlesnake. And others uh, take very old names, like chipotles, you're probably familiar with. This is a, a very old word from, uh, from native Nahuatl language. It means smoked chili. So yeah, you take a chili, uh, jalapenos usually, dry them with uh, hickory and mesquite smoke, and it adds this beautiful complex flavor to them. The bigger ones are like the big, big elephants. They're, they're pretty friendly. And then, generally speaking, when you start getting thumbnail size or smaller, that's when they're real fireballs. The whole ones, uh, one thing you can do with them is toast them a little bit more. You, you kind of bring out a little bit more complex flavor. And then from there, they're usually soaked and pureed. Or sometimes you can just stuff this with cheese and fry it. Beautiful things.